Hello and welcome to another episode of Steel Fur Speaks with, of course, me, Steel Fur. Fun video today. We are, I guess, announcing my participation in what is being called the Creators of Aria. Um, Discord League, not Discord League tournament, uh, Creators Tournament, which is happening um, over the next few weeks. I think it's starting on the 1st of October. Um, it will be a sealed event, obviously, with Tales of Aria, which we've got packs here to talk about. Um, we have a fun logo that I will share um, in with this video because, you know, I can. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I guess this is quite exciting. I think there's actually quite a few people signed up. I'm not entirely sure the extent of participation just yet, but I think it will be everyone you know and love who you know makes content i think there's about 20 of us signed up so far so it should be a pretty big deal and obviously i'm fairly excited for it just being someone who keeps you know i love playing the game so i'm going to keep keep playing the game um yeah here we go i've got that up on the screen now for everyone to have a bit of a look at um great logo um and obviously i'll be putting my logo up and streaming any of the games that I play as well. So that's something exciting to look forward to. Um, we're going to crack open the packs. Um, I don't know why this cold, this husk is here. I mean, it's just a husk. I was sorting through my box of stuff to put stuff away from all the new Tales stuff that I've been opening. Um, and I have these which are related to a story that I'm going to tell in a second. So I've, been, I've spent all day drafting. So we're going to do the sealed pack opening. Then we're going to talk a bit about the draft environment, some advice for the draft environment. And I'll put some signpost links in the video so people can skip through to that. If that's what you're here and interested for and then we're actually going to start thinking about how to build the sealed deck that i've pulled but i'm not going to finish building it today but we'll see what i've got and kind of what indications that is but first let me tell you about these so i've been drafting all day and i pulled one of these in the draft it's gorgeous cold foil um code of frost i am i think it's a gorgeous gorgeous card i don't know if you can see the foiling very well on that um <laughs> this one however is more funny so we were drafting and um i had said look and I've already opened too many boxes. I basically forgot to keep six packs for this tournament. So I said to the guy who works at the shop, look, can you give me six packs in the tournament? And we didn't have a full draft pod. So we were drafting with six people, five people, whatever, all day. Um, and I basically said, look, just give me six packs out of the box. And I knew we hadn't hit a cold foil. Maybe we'd had a cold foil common. So I was like, well, that's the box. I'm going to get some boosters out of anyway. And I bought my six boosters, but I thought, you know, let's buy another two. Why not? You know, get get a bit of variety in my life. And of course, in the two boosters I pulled, I, I pulled this lovely Heart of Ice. In my second Heart of Ice, I have another one over here, of course, um, with, um, well, okay, technically I have another two over here, um, but I'm trading most of these for the other legendaries that I'm, of course, missing. Um, I need Crown of Seeds um, and Shock Charmers. Um, I also need a Core Shem, you know, anyone listening to this video who wants to uh, hook me up with a good deal on a Core Shem um, for someone who wants to trade it for some stuff, I don't know um otherwise i'm gonna be missing a core sham and i absolutely have to get one this time because obviously i love the trees um so that was exciting obviously the sad news about that means that we're not going to have um any of the we're not going to have a heart of ice in our sealed pool but we will hopefully have some good stuff so when you're taking out your sealed pool it's a really good idea to just sort of break it down into the elements You've got elemental down here, which kind of functions like generic. You want to get your ice and your lightnings all together so you know what you've got. And then you really just want your class cards. Um, any equipment goes off to the side, though having your equipment is going to kind of give you a good indication of what you want to play, right? So we're seeing here, right of replenishment, this is a very blue heavy pack, which could come in handy, um, could screw me over later on. Obviously, you get two cards from each class. One of the slots at the front of the pack can have a random card from a class or a random elemental card. You have the foil slot and you have the rare slot, which is why I've got four cards for Guardian in here. So that might be an indicator that Guardian is a good way to go. But they're not four really great cards. Um, and I've only seen one card so far, which I feel is very, very good um, in some decks, which is this Overflex. And I'll talk a bit about why I think that's such a great card in a minute so we've got a chill to the bone so a nice bit of ice another heaven's claw that's really great to see a mulch a cold wave cold wave is fantastic um just because it's a one for five with a red 
Summerwood Shelter is an amazing card. Um, where is my Earth Pile? I don't have one. This is my first Earth card. Okay, that's not so good. A Lightning Surge. Sure. A Rotten Old Buckler, which is good with um, with um, Old Him. A Bramble Spark, really great to stream. Strength is for Koya as well, though I haven't got many Earth cards. This is not looking like the best sealed pool. And then we have a Thump, which could be good um, with all the buffs that I've got. Keep in mind, I have just finished drafting today, so my notions of what is good and what is bad um, are a bit skewed, because obviously sealed is a lot less powerful than draft. Uh, break ground, that's good. A ball lightning, amazing. So I'm starting to see maybe Lexi is the right decision here. We do, however, have an explosive growth, which is good for Briar. A weave earth. A foil frost fang, which is a gorgeous card. Another rotten buckler, not so good. Um, so under buzz bolt inspire lightning lizard bolt singing steel blade so these are not great packs i'm not really seeing the density of reds that i would like in any color and i'm not really seeing that much synergy either and there's another rejuvenate which is not going to go down well uh we get a stir the wild wood a weave ice which is great a winter's grasp a deep blue which is actually really good uh, a flake out a vela flash um, a buzz bolt and a snow under red that's good that's very good two packs left um so far i'm not really saying this is the greatest seal pool but there are some potential cards in here that are quite good i haven't really hit any hits but it looks like i may have to play ice just to get use of all the good cards that i've been getting um have these pools gotten mixed together they have slightly shock striker snow under a flash very nice a lightning press and a flash and the singeing steel blade blue not so great amulet of lightning not terrible and seal glacial footsteps okay entangle still a lot of blues stir the wildwood red a thump Mm, okay this is not the best steel pool but we're gonna make the most of it we can right okay winter's bite another shock striker that's really good and twine ice and earth law surge which is really strong dazzling crescendo another lightning press yeah and a snapshot a buzz bolt the ragamuffin's hat which is quite good so we have got a decent chunk of equipment here Another Overflex, Inspire Lightning, a Mulch, a Blizzard Bolt, an Arcanic Shockwave, and a Glacier Footstep. So, a decent mix of cards there. Not really anything I would say pushing me in one direction. Um, Rejuvenates can come out because they're not great. Invigorate can be okay. Entwine Lice Blue is not great. But two Entwine Lightning Yellow is actually quite good. Um, so, let's start just by being productive. Have a look at the class card, see what we've got. Well, maybe let's just start with the elements. So, let's just see. So, Let's firstly start looking at Earth. Earth is firstly just not very strong here. We've got a lot of yellows. Um, we've got, you know, there are some good yellow cards here for Briar. Um, we have, you know, a So Tomorrow. We have an Earth Law Surge. Autumn's Touch Red is really good. Um, we have a Summerwood Shelter, uh, which is an amazing card in yellow. And we have a Weaver. So the Earth isn't great. But I think if we look at my Briar pool, a lot of it is going to be Lightning anyway. So we may actually be able to get a Briar deck out of this. Um, if we look at Lightning, we've got some Shock Strikers, some Amulet of Lightning, two Lightning Press, which makes me really want to play Lightning, a Ball Lightning, a Lightning Surge. Lightning Surge Blue isn't very good, and two Heaven's Claws, which is really good. So this is actually, for Sealed, um, quite a good Lightning pool. So I'm actually thinking this is quite good. So we may want to play uh, either Briar or Lexi just to take advantage of this pool. And Briar could work with the Earth card. So let's have a look at that first. So we've got an Arcanic Shockwave. This obviously, if you fuse it with Lightning, you get to deal one Arcane damage. Um, we have Inspire Lightning, which is actually very good in a short, small amounts in the red because it zaps for three Arcane, which can finish off a day game. We have a Stir the Wildwood, a Rite of Replenishment, some Veil of Flashes, another Stir the Wildwood. So some big power in the red here. And Inspire Lightning, I probably wouldn't run two of them. A Veil of Flash Blue, probably wouldn't run that. A Rite of Replenishment, Inspire Lightning Blue, probably wouldn't run that. And a Bramble Spark. So this is not bad. I would have liked more Bramble Sparks. Um, 
and less of these. So really, I don't really see these as playable. This is somewhat playable. These are all right. How many non-attack actions do I have? I have one. And then in Lightning, I have two, three, and then in Earth, I have four, five, six. So six non-attack actions. It's not really enough to build a good Briar deck. So let's, let's see what else we've got first. But that is at least an option. Lightning Heavy Briar. Um, I have a few cards that fuse with Earth here, but you'll see Inspire Lightning, Arcanic Shockwaves are all there to fuse with the um, with the Lightning card, so I could build a decent Briar Lightning deck. So then into Ice. We have Entwine Ice, that's not really going to count as an Ice card, unfortunately. We have Polar Blast, we have some Winter's Grasp, so these are amazing because they block for three. Um, Frost Fang, Weave Ice, another Frost Fang, which is great. Um, they kind of just have to be blocked. Another Winter's Grasp, Chill to the Bone, Ice Quake, and another Winter's Grasp. So three cards that block for three. Um, you know, Ice Quake as well, and a Blue Polar Blast, which is great. And Chill to the Bones if I get Dominated Attacks in. So my Ice is actually pretty good as well. So Ice and Lightning are my two strongest, with I think Lightning taking the lead, which means that I could just go for Lexi. But let's see. So we need to we need to have a density of... Um, red arrows in order to make Lexi work. We see we've got three. We've got some yellows, which are all right. We've got more yellows. We've got a cold wave. We've got an overflex and a buzz bolt. So this is a somewhat okay. Can I get this camera a little closer maybe for you guys? Um, yeah, I like that much more. Okay. So we can see that something like this blizzard bolt is a one for five. Dazzling Crescendo is fine. This is zero for four. You're not going to get much out of the go again because it's, you know, you could you could only load the bow once. But if you've noticed, I do have a lot of non um, arrow attacks that I could throw the go again in with these things. So getting go again with the arrows and Lexi's ability could actually be very useful in this situation. Um, Frazzle is good if you fuse it. Buzz Bolt's also good if you fuse it. I would have liked to get a Mark of Lightning on the equipment, but you can't win everyone. Uh, just trying to get this to focus, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Anyway, that's all right. Um, so two Buzz Bolts, Chilling Ice Vein is good. Um, Overflex is a good card to just sort of take a note of in this one. Um, it really helps with the Ice Arrows if you give them Dominate and you get plus three. Um, snapshot lets you use Death Dealer again, but only if um, it's fused. But I have a lot of lightning cards, so I may in fact get to use Death Dealer multiple times. And of course, Overflex can also load an arrow if you get go again. So actually, my Lexi pool is also fairly decent. So I think there could potentially be something there as well. I would have liked more red arrows, but you can't get everything you want. So then we have Earth, we have Guardian. Now I've got two Glacial Footsteps, that's pretty good for Dominate. Lots of blues to play them out as well. Um, thumps as well. Snow Unders. Entangles. Entangles, not so good. I have a lot of Earth Fusion cards so far, which isn't really the best. Um, but, yeah, it's not the worst either. Snow Under, another Thump. Strength of Sequoia, Mulch. Snow Under, Strength of Sequoia, another Mulch, and an Embolden. Um, I really don't like Embolden in Sealed, just because it costs four. Um, it seems like it would be good, but it's hard to get the good, the full effect off it. You're not going to have another aura in play. So I've got some snow unders. I've got some thumps. I have some decent ice cards. So that could potentially be an option. My earth cards are pretty weak. Um, I do have some auras. I do have some glacial footsteps. I obviously have the rotten old buckler as well, which could be a good reason to go into, um, into Briar, uh, into old him. And the thing is, for, for Lexi, I'm missing the Ranger's Honing Hood, which is actually really important for her. So I'm not really sure if I want to go into Lexi with this pool. Um, however, I will say that I feel like Guardian with this pool could be okay, but I don't think it'll be amazing. Whereas I think if we build a Lexi deck, we have the potential for quite a lot of shenanigans with all the lightning cards that I've got. So actually, I might build Lexi, but actually I could build any three of these, I think, and I would have roughly good results because my Briar cards I have good lightning for. I have good ice for my um for my um for my old him. 
And obviously that gives me some good options for that. Um, so I'm going to finish building this later on, um, mostly because it's getting late here. And also that means that I can also have a bit of a surprise for my opponents when I finally decide what I'm going to play. I don't want to give away all my secrets and then not have anything show up in the deck to surprise you guys. And also I will say that because this is a, um, a content creator tournament, um, I may not play the same deck every round. I might try and showcase a bit of a bit of um, differences in terms of what I end up doing from round to round. Um, yeah, so that was my seal pool. Um, I'm quite excited about it. Hopefully, we will finish building that deck soon. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to the creator content, creator championships, and uh, I will obviously be streaming and recording all of the videos and the games we play there. So until then, um, have a great week and obviously talk to you soon.